The San Antonio Spurs and the Phoenix Suns. The title quests of these teams are the focus of two men, storied basketball personalities who travel separate paths but are driven by a common goal. Spurs head coach Larry Brown knows the high of a national championship, of ABA titles, and now seeks to reach round ball's highest mountain. Can this highly regarded teacher and motivator lead his young squad to the top? The answer rests in the souls of his players. In Brown's soul, there's one thought of the only title that clearly eludes him. For 18 seasons, Cotton Fitzsimmons has toiled in NBA gymnasiums as a head coach. All those hours of preparation, all those hours of practice, all those games, yet no NBA title. Now, as the sun begins to set on his career, it's these sons who could make his career complete. Never has he had a team with this kind of talent and with this kind of emotion. Today, a matchup of two men striving to fulfill their championship dream. A sellout crowd close to 15,000 on hand at the Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix as Larry Brown's San Antonio Spurs get ready to face the Phoenix Suns of Cotton Fitzsimmons. In the Western Conference battle for playoff position, Phoenix at 52 and 25. They are in the number four spot, while San Antonio, the leaders of the Midwest Division at 51 and 26. They are second in the West because the division leaders are placed 1-2. So if the playoffs began today, the first round matchup would show San Antonio going against Golden State, Phoenix, and Utah. It is still a chase for favorable playoff positioning for both the Suns and the Spurs. Hi, everybody. I'm Marv Albert along with the Czar of the... Robinson has been too much for the entire NBA to handle. He's the only player in the league ranked in the top 10 in four separate categories. A legitimate MVP candidate, First in rebounds, second in blocks, eighth in scoring, and ninth in field goal percentage. Now, as good as he's been against the NBA, he's been even better against the Phoenix Suns. The fourth straight miss now for Dan Marley. Good news, though, Tom Chambers will be back today. Will not start, but he will play after missing three straight. Well, apparently the uh, Phoenix Suns will line up with Jeff Hornacek and Nigel Knight in the backcourt. Nigel Knight uh, coming off a very tough outing on Friday night of the win over Dallas. Kurt Rambis and Xavier McDaniel are in the front court, and the starting center, Mark West. And there is Cotton Fitzsimmons, who has quietly helped to rebuild this Phoenix franchise in a second go-around with the Suns, and now the San Antonio Spurs Rod Strickland and Willie Anderson in the backcourt. Rod Strickland still working his way back from the broken hand. Terry Cummings, Sean Elliott up front. And at center, David Robinson, who is averaging just under 26 points per game. There's Larry Brown, who said Robinson posting on West. And he's rejected. Sean Elliott. If there is a weakness for the San Antonio team, it's their perimeter shooting. Four. Here's Knight feeding Rambis. Robinson got a piece of it. Elliott, nice feed for Cummings. And the Spurs take a 2 0 lead. You have two teams who are great in the transition. 19 from the field. A little piece of the ball there as Kurt Rambis tries to take it to the. Robinson, who said he tried to use his quickness against West was rejected along the baseline. The Phoenix team is really taking the challenge of playing David Robinson. West and Lang, I'm sure, have had a special talking to as David tries to make his baseline move. Watch the defense collapse. The white shirts all around David as he almost every night during the 82-game NBA schedule. And that's a credit to both teams. Anderson. Well, and the spur. Fun to sit down and talk to. He has such uh, really novel things that he says the way he looks at the game. He said, Mike, you couldn't coach the game the way I do this year. So I'm having more fun. I just let him play. You and I both know that's not completely true, but what he's done is because he feels he has real good people. Three on the shot clock, and Rambis couldn't hang on. Here comes Elliott out of the pack. Cummings, Spurs lead it with chronic back problems. Hornacek on a quick release. First field goal. Robinson. Mark West with another piece, another rejection. Burke. Keep your eye right here as 
the offensive player comes across. Watch the defensive man step in right there and take a charge. That's where the call takes place. Cotton not real happy with that. He feels that offensive players should be allowed to go where they want on the floor. Anderson. Willie, Willie Anderson, Anderson with seven points. Favors on the rebound. Looked like Rod Strickland favored his hand as he uh, tried to lay it up. Here's West. Yes. Mark West has come out very strong. Mark West, over the last 41 games, is shooting almost 67%. You keep shooting those kind right there, you're going to keep raising your percentage. Better than 31 per game in the three previous against the Suns. Tom Chambers misfiring on his first field goal attempt. Chambers has averaged 31 plus against San Antonio. Terry, Terry Cummings. Cummings. Six on the shot clock. The X-Man. Yes. Xavier McDaniel. Their number two in field goal uh, percentage defense. Third leading rebounding team. Third in blocked shots, but there is another side to the ledger. Yeah, areas where they need improvement, they do. Well, Knight continues to have his shooting difficulties. As long as he continues to miss, they will go underneath the screens as Terry Cummings hits a little baseline Terry floater. Cummings. By Elliott Chambers getting inside. Nice fake, McDaniel able to hammer it home. Spurs 20, and Joel Myers from the Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, Arizona. Elliott off the high dribble. Sean Elliott. Get that big body with those long arms. You need to keep a body on Mark West. Lock him out. Robinson. Green able to sweep in. David Robinson is now 0 for 7 from the field. Portisek again open. Yes. David Robinson will make his dribble move into the lane and draw the double team. Then he'll find his open teammate, Terry Cummings, at the top of the circle. And you would expect Cummings is going to take the open jump shot. No. Nah, Cummings is going to put it on the floor, dribble penetrate, and create, in turn, a nice shot for his teammate, David Robinson, on the baseline. Good teamwork, good ball movement. Draw the defense, kick it to the open man. Three games, but uh, he looks rusty. Has had a very difficult time. Kevin Johnson, Dan Marley still sitting it out. It's a Phoenix turnover, leading to the two-on-one. David Robinson all the way. David Robinson. 16 for Robinson. List with a pulled hamstring. Elliott with the steal. Sloppy sequence by the Sun. Strickland, yes, and it counts. A gorgeous drive by Rod Strickland. This second personal. You think they're paying attention? Watch. Open. Uh-uh. Robinson even switches out that time, trying to help and stop the great perimeter shooter, Jeff Hornacek. And then the big guy leads the break himself and finishes it off with the two-handed slam dunk. Mark West out with four personal fouls, but he realizes without West there, they're going to have no chance to nullify Robinson. Green rejected by West. McDaniel, yes. Xavier McDaniel. Now, Pressy is back. Robinson up front with Green and Elliott. Pressy and Anderson in the backcourt. Sidney Green. Tim Perry show. Portisek with the feed for Lang. Spurs by 13. Shot clock is down to eight. Cummings. Terry Cummings has 20 points. He's the high man of the game. And he's up that lead to 15. Well, you get two, three stops on him defensively, then they still come up with loose balls. You're in trouble. Lang on the rebound. Suns on the run. It's a three on two. Here's McDaniel. by Lang, again recovered by the Spurs. Here's Hornacek off the steal. The X-Man is fouled by Pressy. Cummings try to work off the pick. Cummings. Rare miss for Terry Cummings, who's been hot. Hornacek for three. Yes. 
Indiana in the battle for seventh and eighth position. You saw Minnesota knocking off Philadelphia. Washington defeats Miami. It's a little backdoor cut. All comes off of the motion offense that Phoenix likes to run. Cummings over Terry. Terry Cummings has 20 by as many as 18. They are now within six points. Chambers, who has been way off. Play Chambers, he simply backed him down to the baseline, shot it over the top. He's too big for Elliott if he gets down low. Strickland. Rob Strickland. And the Spurs lead it. Round pick, very unusual. Oh, the backdoor lob was missed. And Robinson on the follow into the head. Yes, it counts. Good Robinson, Robinson will go to the line. He has 19 foul points. Sabalos called Sabalos. for the foul. Robinson with the reverse, looking for the lob. It would have been better if he made the first one, as far as the Suns are concerned. Cummings putting the move on Sabalos. Cedric Sabalos at six foot six against the six foot nine Terry Cummings. Spurs 86 to Suns 78. Knight leading Chambers. A tough rebound in traffic by Cummings. Anderson. Willie Anderson serving the facial to extend to a 10 point San Antonio lead. 23 points for Anderson. And a timeout has been taken by the Sun. Cummings knows he's a little bit too big and too strong for Sabalos. He makes his move in the lane and then finishes with the left hand. Willie Anderson leading the break, sees the opening, takes it in, slams it home for the dunk. <laughs>